Let's talk about long-term plans. Long-term plans. Uh, I think that is just as important in a city as anything else in the world. And I'll tell you why. If you're not planning and you're not getting ready for the future, then you'll never be ready for the future. Not only that, but if you plan, you plan and you'll save money in the future. But let me start by saying that one of the things we'd like to do is work with Miss Tara Harris. You'll see in the left hand corner a drawing that we got from the Pea River Historical Society that is a picture of the old Coffee County High School. History shows that that high school burned. It was rebuilt. We had a time uh, with trying to find the right drawing, to tell you the truth, because they had changed some of the architectural features of the building. But we did find the, uh, the older building to the left, and that was the original building. Now, I'm going to talk architectural talk, and I'm going to probably get myself in trouble. But those little round things there, they call those decorative pinions. We had enough foresight that we took those finials off of the old gymnasium and put those to the side. We're going to reinstall those finials on this building, and we're going to try to reduplicate the building as best we can of the old Coffee County High School. Now, where would this spot be? I could not think of a better spot than where the old junior high school was on College Street. One is it will improve or continue to maintain and not improve those uh, citizens' homes and home values in that area. Uh, not only that, but again, you're on a low to moderate income. It's in a generalized area of the city. We can take advantage of grants that you otherwise would not be eligible for. Now, up in the right-hand corner is the existing uh, library. Now remember, we want to actually extend the life of City Hall up to 30 years, so we won't have to build a new City Hall. We literally could repurpose this building, move the Water Administration Department in a convenient location that has a drive, drive through, make it workable, like we do the banks, all of us love convenience. And we don't like getting out of our cars no more than we have to. So it would be our planning goals to repurpose this for the future and move the Water Board Administrative portion of that uh, to the old library building. Now, let's talk about another project. One of the men, that, and, and all the mayors in the past and councils have contributed a great deal to our city. And I read a lot at City Hall and I study. And one of the men, men one of the mayors, Mayor Brown, uh, during his tenure, made a large and big impact on this town. I feel like that the old recreational complex, where it's located now, is out there its purpose. Uh, you'll see there a nothing more than a rendering. And of what we would like to see, actually, if we had planned this, early on in our administration, this thing came along called a tornado, and we had to help the schools to rebuild it. But we think this would be able to help not only teach our children the lessons of life through sports, but also have some opportunities for grown-ups to be able to enjoy this building. But again, it's a plan for the future, and it's something that we hope to see come to fruition. Now, if you ask yourself, how in the world is he going to pay for that? Well, bond issue is one. But as those bond issues are paid for, one thing that we've been very fortunate is, is that we've seen our city ratings, financial ratings, go up because of the conservative, conservative approach that we approach things at. But as time goes by, we can work those bonds so that we can possibly bring in additional revenue that would make these plans come to fruition. Now, the last thing that we think we could complement our community, and is a national growing sport, not only national but international, and that's soccer. Uh, Kim LeBlanc is here with us 